we are, nearly four weeks on, and as you can see, I haven't killed Pedro's lawn, and he's still talking to me. Yes, well that's right, he's all going out there anyway. This lawn's come back real good. It has come back really well. So we've highlighted a few things. Uh, the buffalo was sort of suppressing a bit of kikuyu that wasn't really as noticeable, but now it's come back through. But in time, once this buffalo lawn sort of gets back on its feet a little bit more still, it'll be fine. So. Today, we're just gonna have a little bit of a look around here, see how it's recovering. We've got a few weeds popping up, but we knew that would be the case, uh, but not as much as I thought. So there's some purslane floating around, which is from the pigweed family. We've also got some cooch. In this case, it's a weed because it's not really what we want here. Uh, we've got some oxalis in here, but all of those sorts of things have already always been here, just hiding in the darkness, in the shadows. So that's what's going on there. Um, we've got fantastic color. The other thing that I have noticed, because we've had a really cool season, and in fact, until this sun came out, it was kind of a situation of, it was almost jumper weather. And there's been a lot of humidity. So I have noticed that we've got a little bit of leaf spot that I'm gonna keep an eye on. And if we need to do anything with that, I'll keep you guys informed. We'll use a broad spectrum uh, herb, uh, fungicide, I'm sorry, and we'll treat that. But at the moment, it's not really affecting the plant and it's still growing quite well. Um, how have you found it, Pedro? It came back really quick, didn't it? Like it did. a few days? Yes, it came back real quick. And um, I gave it a cut there the other day, well, last week. Give it a low cut, and she's just gone off its head again. So yeah, right. we'll get some more rain on it next week, and it should be real good. Right, yeah. So, yeah, so Pedro's cut this once in the since we've done the renovation. He cut it at one and a half inches, uh, which is about 30 which is about three centimeters. I've now suggested to Pedro to bring it up to two inches or five centimeters, and that will be his mowing height going forward for the rest of the season. So he's actually gonna give it a trim here today. So we're gonna get rid of all this excess kikuyu and just tidy up the uh, buffalo. We're not expecting a big amount off it, but uh, yeah, we'll just give it a tidy up and uh, make it look presentable again. And when the wind dies down a bit, we'll probably hit it with a uh, a suitable selective herbicide for buffalo just to knock that uh, purslane and the oxalis out of it. So, well, Pedro, why don't we have a look at your mowing skills, mate? Right, mate. We'll crank her up. Okay, so Pedro's about halfway through mowing his lawn now, and I just thought we'd stop it here again. It seems to be a bit of a trend, stopping this halfway through to talk about <laughs> your mower. Um, so now we've actually done the, the renovation, and how, how's it to mow now? Oh, a million bucks, eh? Million dollars, yeah, million easy. bucks? Yeah, I'm not getting bogged or anything. I know I'll be able to go down that way as well as the cross cut. Bring it back, she won't start spinning or biting in, so. So mowing is now a dream again? It is, mate, it is, yep. And the color's pretty good too. Mm. Happy with the color? Yeah. And it's mowing up really nicely. So Pedro's due for new blades, he knows that. He's gonna get new blades probably um, today. today. So we really should have waited, but hey, this isn't the smartest channel on, on YouTube, but we'll have a go. Yeah. Um, well, that's great, mate. It's looking really, really nice. Um, color's, color's definitely there. Um, I'll let you get on with your mowing. Right, well, thanks, Brendan. No worries. Right, guys, well, that's come up really well, Pedro. Um, as I said, it's four weeks today or tomorrow. No, it's four weeks tomorrow. Yeah. It's four weeks tomorrow that we did this. So I sort of predicted four weeks would get some pretty good response and recovery. Obviously, another four weeks in from now, and it will be that much better again. Uh, we'll look to give this a feed. Uh, we're just talking about that. We'll probably give this a feed towards the end of March. Uh, with a complete style fertilizer, sort of start getting it back ready for winter because the season has been cooler. Um, but Pedro, after four weeks, are you happy? Yeah, I'm very happy. I can't believe it. I was a bit worried at first, but no doubt I had faith in you. <laughs> at least someone did. 
basically the whole area, the whole street that Pedro lives in, they thought he was a lunatic for what he did. Yeah, he had a few comments like, yeah. you know, and lost the plot and all that. But, uh, but, but look at it now. Yep. It's, it's looking really good. We're still obviously in a recovery phase, uh, but to be honest, pretty happy with the results. Anyway, guys, look, that's your episode for the week. Have a fantastic weekend. We'll see you here next time on the Aussie Lawn. See you guys.